Welcome to another video. In this system of radical equations, we want to solve for the following of x. And here is the trick. So the first thing we are going to do here is by taking the square of both sides. So doing so, I, we make sure that we eliminate this um, root at the right hand side and we expand the um, right hand side. So if these two cancel each other, we are going to have this as 5 minus x equals to the expansion of this becomes 25 minus 10 x raised to the power of 2 plus x raised to the power of 4. And uh, the next thing we are going to do here is by transferring all the values in the right hand side to left hand side. So here becomes negative 25 plus 10 x raised to the power 2 minus x raised to the power 4 equal to 0. And uh, the next thing we are going to do here is, so if I try to do the arrangement, so let's say I let 25 start and follow by plus 10x raised to the power of 2. And uh, we have plus 5 minus x raised to the power of 4 minus x, everything equal to 0. So um the next thing we are going to do here is so if i try to expand this again with um negative so just to make sure that we still start these equations so i'm doing that we have this and uh after uh, we multiply through the negative say becomes 25 and here is negative um 10 x raised to the power 2 negative 5 plus x raised to the power 4 my plus x equal to 0. So in this problem, I want to follow the quadratic expressions. So, but the quadratic expression in form of the constant will be the variable here, so which is the five. And here, if I take out, um, uh, if I factorize this out, so we make sure that everything is now in a quadratic expression, and which is following a x to the power two plus b x plus c equal to zero. So where our x here is now our five. All right, and uh, if we try to plug all this value in this um this quadratic equation, so which is this uh minus four ac divided by two a, we are going to have um uh the quotient of a uh the a is one, so and the result of this one becomes this after we plug everything. So in this, so here is what we are going to have when we plug everything, and let's start expanding. So here we have uh, 2x squared plus 1, and here is plus or minus the root of uh, expansion of this is 4x raised to the power 4 plus 4x raised to the power of 2 plus 1. And here is minus 4x raised to the power 4 minus 4x. So all divided by 2. So having this, we have 5 equals to 2x raised to the power of 2 plus 1 plus or minus the square root of, if these two cancel this, we are going to have this as 4x raised to the power of 2 minus 4x plus 1, all divided by 2. And uh, the next thing is, we have 5 equals to 2x raised to the power of 2 plus 1 plus or minus the root of the if we try to con contract this uh into 2x minus 1 is to power 2 so it's still the same so this cancel this and uh, we're going to have 5 equals to 2x raised to power of 2 plus 1 plus or minus 2x minus 1 all divided by 2. so and if this uh, is having plus or minus we are going to separate this with either plus or the minus so here we have 5 equals to 2x squared plus 1 plus 2x minus 1 divided by 2 so that is for the positive so why the negative side we have 5 equals to 2x raised to the power of 2 plus 1 plus 2x uh, minus 2x minus 1 divided by 2 so let's deal with this side here we have 5 equals to if these two cancel this and then we take out 2 and we cancel it with 2 under so the result becomes x squared plus x and uh, by collecting the like terms uh, uh, here is x squared 
plus x minus 5 equal to 0. So up to absolutely a is another quadratic. Um, if you solve this, we are going to have this result as minus 1 plus or minus the root of um, 21 divided by 2. So when we are trying to apply the quadratic formula, we are going to get this. So by solving x squared plus x minus 4 equals to 0. So and while for this, we have 5 equals to 2x raised to the power 2 plus 1 minus 2x plus 1. Uh, divided by 2. So I remember here is 5 equals to 2x raised to the power of 2. And here is minus 2x plus 2 divided by 2. So taking out 2 again, uh, the result becomes x raised to the power 2 minus x plus 1. And therefore, by rearranging again, we have x squared minus x minus 4 equals to 0. And here is another quadratic, so which means if we try to solve this, we are still going to have the result of 1 plus or minus the root of um, 17 divided by 2. So that is how I do this problem um, by making 5 the variables. So and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video. Bye bye.